And Sun Alpha Sport with Hailing Chan. And some great news today for my favorite tennis player. <laughs> That's right. He's finally won that one title, one yes. elusive title that he's always wanted. <laughs> Rafael Nadal has joined the ranks of the all time greats in tennis after beating Novak Djokovic to win the U.S. Open. That completes his set of Grand Slam titles, leaving no doubts as to who's the world's number one player. The world held its breath as Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal got ready for battle in the U.S. Open at Flushing Meadows. The first set was a struggle for the Serb, but some uncharacteristic errors from Rafa allowed Djokovic to level before this epic fifth game that saw the Spaniards slip five break points. Nadal played a poor game in the second set after a double fault and a backhand error gave the Serb the break to love. He started dictating with his forehand and capitalized on his strength on the hard court, consolidating the break to move 4-1 clear. Djokovic then missed a game point on his next serve but allowed the Spaniard in again with a heavy backhand on his third break point. But it wasn't long before the rain that everyone was expecting started pouring and play had to be suspended. After a delay of an hour and 50 minutes, Djokovic survived from 30 all and held his edge as a tiebreak loomed, leveling the match with a fizzling return at Nadal's feet. Djokovic couldn't keep up the momentum, though, and Nadal came roaring back at the start of the crucial third set with this cross-court backhand winner that helped him break for 2-1. By the time they got to the fourth set, Djokovic was exhausted and the pressure was wearing him out. Nadal broke again to lead 2-1. After three hours and 43 minutes of play, Djokovic had denied Nadal an astonishing 20 break points, but the next one just wasn't meant to be. The tired Serb sent this forehand wide, and Rafa didn't let his fans down, winning the point and the championship 6-4, 5-7, 6-4, 6-2. And with that victory, Rafa became the seventh player to win all four majors. But he still doesn't think he's better than his rival, Roger Federer. Talk about if I am better or worse than Roger is, is, is stupid because the title says he's much better than me. So that's, that's the truth at that, at, that, at that moment and I, I think will be the truth all my life. Djokovic was gracious in defeat and quick to congratulate Nadal. And he has a lot of time to come if he physically uh, holds on in the next uh, five, six, seven years. I don't know how long he's going to play anyway. You know, he has the game now for each surface and uh, he has won each major. He has proven to the world that he's the best, uh, best in this moment, so there is no question about it. At 24, Nadal's the third youngest player to win all four majors, and it looks like the tennis world believes he's still got many more years to prove his best has yet to come.